What's up with everybody? It's me, Moya B. And we're back at another reaction video. Mm -hmm. Top 10 worst things Lewis Griffin has done. Uh -oh. Yeah, she did a lot of crazy stuff in Family Guy, man. For so sure. it's definitely going to be gonna pretty be interesting. Um, if you want to support our channel and pick out our next video, check out the links to our stream labs. Mm -hmm. It's going to be in the description. Let's dive right into it. For this list, we're looking at all the bizarre, sketchy, and downright bizarre. criminal stunts that mm -hmm. Lois Griffin has pulled over the years. <laughs> oh, nasty. <laughs> Number 10, made out with Meg's boyfriend. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah she was bogus. She's constantly mocked about her weight, is the butt of many a joke, and serves in general as the family punching bag. So it does her confidence some good to bring home a cute new boyfriend. But when Lois is jealous of the attention her daughter is getting, yeah, she sends crazy. Meg off on an errand and moves quickly to take what she wants. The other day you said I was attractive. Now what are we going to do about it? Meg comes she back to see her mother and her making right? out on the couch. Not only is this incredibly sleazy, but Lois then goes on to blame her underage makeout session on Peter's inattention. Keep it classy, Mrs. Griffin. You made out with Meg's boyfriend? How the hell could you do that to me? Number nine, <laughs> gambled away the family's car. What? Turns out that, just like another animated sitcom uh. mom, Lois has something of a gambling problem. While at a Native American casino, Lois quickly becomes addicted. Although addiction is a serious disorder and yeah. doesn't make her a bad person, she first manages to lose the family car, then doesn't really deal with the fallout. Jeez, I could swear I parked here. Yeah, you did. But, but here's the really silly thing, Peter. Uh -oh. I sort of bet our car. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of helping to figure something out, she watches her husband lie to the native elders and then wander off into the woods alone with her teenage son in tow. I'm an Indian too. Excuse, Excuse me? me? You heard me. I'm a member of your tribe. She might be addicted to poker machines, but when it comes to responsibility, she's certainly not working with a full deck. Yes. Number eight, became addicted to shoplifting. Ah, oh, she oh. came with the jail. Lois is never short on bad behavior. So when she's a little short on cash at the supermarket, she decides to That's just steal what she can't pay yeah. for. In what? no time, she's hooked. Oh my god, that was such a rush! Mm. Is she burning herself? I'm alive! Trying to recapture that high, she continues to steal until she's finally caught. At court, she's yeah. sentenced to three years in prison, but instead of paying the price, she lets her family break her out. Although honestly, her escape is so obvious uh, that maybe that one is on the prison guard. This yeah. forces them to assume new identities and start new lives. Oh my gosh, Although she like eventually sees the yeah. light, the price she makes her family pay for her actions is sewer. criminally high. Can't believe we have to live here. Oh, this sucks. Number seven, became a corrupt mayor. Like many oh, she ran for mayor? Lois sets out to become mayor of Cohog with her heart in the right place. place but it doesn't take long for her selfish impulses to kick in. Once elected, she vows to clean up the local lake and be a better mayor than the unstable Adam West. But before long, she's skimming off the top of the leftover taxpayer money from the lake cleanup project to buy herself expensive gifts. I may have dipped into the tax that's, surplus. That's horrible. Wait a minute, you use taxpayer money to buy yourself a handbag? It's no big deal, Brian. Soon she's being bought out by oil companies so that they can return to dumping waste in yeah. the lake. When you're this easily corruptible, maybe public office isn't for you. Number six, orchestrated a hazing ritual on a classmate. As it turns out, Lois's bad uh. behavior is nothing new. Back in high school, Lois was one of the pretty and popular girls. Mm. For no reason other than to torment her, she told a young Joyce Kinney that she'd made the cheer squad. She's and then popular. humiliated her in front of the entire but school. But wasn't. I was standing in front of the entire school with my pants around my ankles and a hot dog in my mouth. Ah. Uh. Bullying is no joke, and a yeah. of this scale yeah, would sure seriously is. mess someone up. Poor Joyce probably isn't the only one who might need professional help. Lois also apparently has some issues that could do with some tending to. Number five, cheated with Bill Clinton. <laughs> Peter really? and Bill Clinton start to hang out after the former president's car breaks down in front of their house. They become good friends, but also get up to trouble, and Lois does not approve. Who's there? Oh crap, go, 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 go! She goes to confront Clinton, and within minutes, she slept with him. What the hell was I thinking? Unlike some of her other actions, Lois actually feels guilty about this one, and is worried that she's ruined her marriage by cheating. Lois, I think maybe it's better if I stay at Quagmire's for a while. I understand. She tells Peter that he can sleep with someone else if he wants to fix things. Although he ultimately decides he doesn't need to sleep with anyone else, he ends up having sex with Clinton too. Ew! Bill what? Is just oh my that gosh. Persuasive. Number four, they both sleep with treated him. Meg very poorly. I this one is an ongoing problem. Yeah, they all do. As mentioned earlier, Meg is the black problem. sheep of the family. 
always the one to take the brunt of criticism and bullying. From making out with her boyfriend, to reading her private diary for laughs, to implying that Meg should kill herself, Lois is the worst mother imaginable. Hey, look, Meg, I've been at this for 45 minutes. I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> Here's Dang. a Sylvia Plath book and a bottle of Ambien. I'm gonna look the other way, and whatever happens, happens. Oh, Dude, my God. This, a this woman. Event. As over the years, Meg has gotten harder and more unhinged. You're my mother, and you took a child's trust and smashed it into bits in a 17-year-long mission. Meg stands up for herself once, but Lois is so emotionally fragile that Meg has to take it back to keep the family together. Mother of the Year, Lois is not. Yeah, and, and I'm so yeah, sorry, Meg. Yeah, you're a bitch. Number three, <laughs> treated Peter very poorly. For the most part, Peter is a pretty lousy father and husband. It's true. So when he goes out of his way to run a quick errand for Lois, he thinks he's doing a good thing. But when he and Chris come home with the groceries, yeah, he yeah, goes out and yeah. physically attacks first Peter, then Chris. Chris, run! You were right. She didn't appreciate it. Oh crap! <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. This isn't uh -huh. the first time she's lost her cool in a big way. You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! It's clear that she bottles up her frustrations <laughs> with Peter and then resorts yeah. to violence to solve her problems and vent. It's an unhealthy way to live and an unforgivable thing to do to your spouse. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, she's beating him up. <clears throat> I'd be happy to Ooh. take you, Meg. Number two, dispatched a jaywalker. After traumatizing their son by killing off the fictional Arthur Valentine, made up to make him feel better on Valentine's Day, Chris becomes catatonic. Oh, While Lois hey, is minding yeah. him, she confides a dark secret to him. She once killed a pedestrian. <gasps> she looked old, but she was only 51. I mean, back then, that was old to me. She whispers that at the hey. time. The jaywalker seemed old is to trash. Her, implying that her death somehow mattered less. Maybe that's why Lois was the one behind the wheel Dang, when she and Peter right. dispatched Arthur. She'd already done something like this before. Lois has done a lot of things, but now we can add killing someone to the list. Dang. Before yeah. we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. I'm your mom's friend, Mrs. Robinson. I don't, I don't get that. Is that a reference to something? Oh my god. Yeah, Justin okay, Bieber. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm Stifler's mom. Still, no idea. <gasps> Just so get your pants off American pie. Very well then, if I can't have it, nobody can! That is enough! Uh, you, you struck me! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Sweet honey, I am so sorry! Hey Lois, get back inside! This you coke isn't gonna snort itself! Great party, Raul! Dang! I feel like I'm hawking all your cocaine! Alright, Peter, Co we can make one mess, and yeah. that's it! And it's only because I don't see any other way out of this! Thanks, Lois. Oh, this it's is gonna like work out great. Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dang. Number one, forced Peter to comply. After what? taking the advice preached by the radical new sex ed teacher at the high school, Peter swears himself to abstinence. The move is drastic and oh, extra geez. unnecessary, as he yeah. and Lois are already married with three kids, and it frustrates Lois to no end. Fed up with his chastity, Lois takes things way too far and forces herself on Peter. That is it. I am gonna have regular sex with you whether you like it or not. No! I wasn't asking your permission. And it's not Dang. even the first time she's been possessive of him or sexually aggressive. What you looking at? The underpants. Lose them. I, actually, I, I kind of, I sort of have a headache, kind of. She, you know, maybe tomorrow or... Uh... Take them off. Yeah, okay. okay. It's a shocking scene, even in a show filled with shocking moments. Run along, Stewie. Daddy had a rough night. <gasps> Dang. That dude, man. I feel like that was, like, they were trying to play on a role reversal or something. Yeah, they were. That's crazy, man. Lewis was out the chain, man. That was messed up what she, she did to me have... when she gave him those pills. Oh, yeah, no, I know. There yeah. are definitely a lot of those moments away. where I'm like, damn. But I always felt like she's usually the... Less horrible of the group. Yeah. But it there comes are off the way. some of those moments, man. Whew. Yeah. Um, but it's like Meg get treated the worst out of anybody. I know. It's so weird how bad they are towards her. It's like, well, she kind of babies Chris Lewis. Oh, yeah. Because well, he's a baby. No. But she don't really do nothing you mean like. Stewie's Stewie, a baby. Stewie, Stewie, Stewie. <laughs> but she don't never really do nothing wrong to uh, Chris that much. Not, no, not like she does Meg, man. They yeah. all do. They're just so mean to Meg. Yeah. Don't get it. And it's crazy because, like, in high school, Lewis was really popular. But then Meg in mm -hmm. high school is the opposite. She's like the right, not yeah. so popular. And mm -hmm. um, that was messed up what she did to that woman with the blonde hair. I like she put like a hot I dog know. in her mouth and then. And pulled her pants in? Yeah, in front of everybody. Oh, that would be. Uh, they yeah. can definitely mess with somebody's psyche, man. Yeah. 
You know what yeah, I'm saying? They absolutely. can really have problems. Man. But, but yeah, I definitely uh, enjoyed this, man. Yeah, this, it was a good one you to just watch. see how crazy Lewis really is. I how the show actually when you put take it, all it together there. like this. Yeah, yeah how the show actually sure. take it there. Yeah, man, but we're about to get in this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And thumbs it up. Turn on notifications. It's your memory. Be. And Nicole. We're going to catch you in the next video. Awesome. Peace and love, baby.